So in this segment, we're going to be talking about something called um, Eddie's Law, the parents of a um, the murdered girl winning um, sentencing fight. So this is about changing the rules around sentencing. So I just had to add a quick clarification to a video I uh, have recorded but not published because of um, a mistake that I had made. Um, so what what this law is is basically aimed at doing is um, changing the sentencing guidance around how people who are like 17 but not 18 are treated. So in this case um you know the, the person the guy who griffiths i think his name was who killed um ellie gold um you know he was 17 at the time so he received a more uh, lenient sentence um and he does talk about here griffiths was treated like a 10 year old but he was only five months of being 18 said ellie's mother carol ellie's law see will see someone like griffiths treated more like an adult so the point is that you know the way the um sentencing guidance or sentencing laws were before was that you know when you're 18 you're treated as an adult however you know the guy was 16 so you know it's where the line is really being drawn that's kind of the point of um ellie's law um i believe anyways so um yeah we're just going to get into the main bits of the video uh now um who you know committed a similar act to you know the the um the the person the man who killed um ellie so um there's a story we covered um i think it was last year and i did get a comment from someone who knew her one of her friends i believe which um you know wanted to you know she you know put, the person pushed a petition in order to um get this sort of stuff put in place i can't remember specifics it was um a long time ago but uh you know it was it was a tragedy what happened you know and some uh people really they, they, it's it's tough to explain what I'm trying to say, but you, you get there's just bad human beings out there who can't deal with rejection, so they result in you know murdering people. Um, I think specifically men, um, have that problem. You get domestic abuse cases and things like that, and you know the story what what happened to her was just, um, was just horrible. But um, anyways, we'll talk about the story before I, um, just sort of ramble on. Um, so a mother who fought to change the law um, around murder says her daughter would be very proud. Announced on Tuesday, Ellie's law named after the Wiltshire teenager, Ellie Gold, means teenage uh, killers could face uh, sentences of up to 27 years. Ellie was stabbed to death by her ex-boyfriend, Thomas Griffiths, in May 2019. He was 17 at the time, so received a more lenient sentence than an adult uh, defendant would have, which is just ridiculous, um, to be honest. The change in the law announced by um, Sec Justice Secretary Robert Buckland, is a culmination of a two-year campaign by Ellie's parents, um, along with the mother of Poppy Devi uh, Waterhouse from, from Somerset, who was murdered in similar circumstances. Uh, Miss Gold um, says she wants sentences increased for killers who use weapons they find at the scene. Both Ellie, 17, and Poppy, 24, were killed with knives their ex-boyfriends found in their homes. Unable to accept she wanted to break up with him, Griffiths attacked Ellie at her family home in um, county wheelchair killing her with a kitchen knife although he was 18 at the time he was sentenced to a minimum of 12 and a half years in prison which is just ridiculous um, his age at the time of the crime was a factor in the minimum uh, jail term he could face despite the gold family taking their case to the court of appeals it was ruled um, unduly lenient uh, it was not ruled unduly lenient um, so that means that you know the original sentence held uh, Griffiths uh, was treated like a 10 year old but he was only uh, five months off being 18 said um, Ellie's mother Carol uh, Ellie's law will see someone like Griffiths treated more like an adult under the new law he would have um, a starting point of a minimum of 14 years I think she Ellie would be very proud she'd say well done mum you've achieved something great here and to be fair this will be um, a part of a legacy really you know a girl who was murdered when she was you know very young and you know had um, you know, belly you know started in life I guess you know had a lot of options open to her um, at that age. Mr Buckland, the MP for Swindon South, said he wanted to pay tribute to the dignified way the Gold family had campaigned since the appalling murder of their daughter. He said the law change reflected the gravity of crimes like murder. Huge cloud lifted. Um, although the change in law will not mean Griffith's sentence can be extended retrospectively, it does mean um, he has lost the right to have it reviewed which is good news, which means that the family won't have to go through this again when it go, you know, if he could um, have his uh, sentence reviewed to have it lessened. Um, that's a huge cloud that's been lifted from above our heads, says uh, Miss Gold. We know that he will remain behind bars for at least 10 and a half years, which, you know, 
isn't enough and I think most people would agree that um, along with Poppy's mother Julie Davy, Miss Gold said say she will continue to campaign for tougher sentences for people who kill using a weapon they have not taken to the scene if a murder a murderer kills his victim and he hasn't taken a weapon to the scene of the crime usually a domestic setting the minimum tariff is 15 years um, said Miss Davy, whose daughter was murdered in Leeds in December 2018. If the murderer takes a weapon to the scene, um, the starting tariff is 25 years. That's you know a 10 year gap, which is huge, and it's still the case. Nothing has been changed with that yet. Obviously, you know it's the difference between you know premeditated murder, um, essentially, which I think you know it should you know it should less than that really to five years. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, <sighs> yeah, at least something. I don't want to say something good has come out of this, but, you know, because, you know, someone, you know, people have died. Um, but, um, you know, at least the law has been changed. You know, it shouldn't have come to this, you know, people being murdered with lenient sentences. You know, I think, you know, sentences should be reviewed every once in a while, say every parliament to look at, you know, are they, you know, are they adequate or are they lenient? Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, this is, uh, this is good news. So um, look, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.